Hi YouTube, in this video you are going to learn how to remember your passwords and keep them safe from others. Pretty much what we are going to be doing is hiding, storing passwords in plain sight. Okay, so what we're actually going to do is hide our passwords inside of these photos. In this day and age, as you know, <laughs> everything is password needs a password what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new folder and let's say we're gonna call it call that folder vacation let's say vacation photos photos boom all right so whatever I mean you can call the folder whatever you want and what we're going to do now is we're going to drag random whatever photos, pictures into that folder. So we got these two photos, but you know, you can add more photos to the folder. Okay, so what we're actually going to do is hide our passwords inside of these photos of whichever photo you choose. And to help us do that, we are going to use an application called Notepad++. It's a free code editor, and it's a small file. It runs almost like Notepad, but very important, it's not Notepad and it's not WordPad. It's Notepad++. So we are. if you don't have it, then you'll have to download. I'll leave the link for Notepad++ below. So go to download. Four uh, installer. So download the installer. Okay. Agree, notepad, next, create shortcut on desktop. I don't, don't really need that. And yeah, so yeah, there's notepad. It's just, it's a text editor. So a coding editor, a lot of, uh, some programmers use it. Anyhow, let's close out of that. Okay, so what we're going to do is just go to Drake or whatever uh, photo you choose to use. Um, obviously, I'm, that's just an example I'm using. And we're going to open with and scroll down. And so we just want to open it with, uh, with Notepad, Notepad++. So look for it. There it is. Here we open the photo, and as you can see, it's a whole bunch of uh, code text. And so down here now, you can put in like whatever Reddit. Your if you you're trying to store your Reddit password, Reddit password. You know, password one. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, Yahoo, whatever. Uh, you know, Snapchat, password, password is underscore password. Boom. So you have, uh, you have your passwords, you go to file, save, and you can close that out. So now no one has any idea. You can come over here. And it opens up as an image file. But you can also open it with Notepad++. And guess what? Your passwords are stored at the bottom of the code right where you left them. So 
that super cool, super nifty. Um, it's a pretty, uh, pretty cool trick. Anyhow, another way that you can secure your file, let's say you want to password protect, um, password protect or password. So we're inside of the folder still. And now what you're going to do is you're going to use like a WinZip or you're going to zip, zip the file, 7-zip, and you add to archive. And 7-zip is another free file compression app. Add to archive. And yeah, all you got to do, all you have to do here now is enter password, whatever you want it to be, password. Re-enter password. Hit OK. And now there is a password protected file inside of uh, of your, your folder here. So now if you try to open it, boom. What's the password? Obviously, you wouldn't name the password password, but that I was just using it using it as an example and there you go there's your file there's uh the drake file that has your passwords on it and you can move it i think you can uh, open outside but um Yeah, you'd have to uh you'd have to drag it out. It'll ask you for password again. Hit OK. Drake, let's see. So open with notepad. And there's the passwords. So Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found the video useful. If you did, please click a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and let us know if you're gonna, or don't let us know if you're gonna use this technique to store and hide your passwords on your computer. I'll leave a link for Notepad++ below and for 7-Zip. Thanks for watching.